Now, salt bagel? what I tend to do, I mean, I, we're among friends. I would just rip them in half and go, but I don't know. Are we being dainty mm -hmm. here? Because... I don't think so. No, she's good. Okay, then I'm going to do what I do. <laughs> being dainty. Uh, right. I do have a question. And I'm going to have everything. For the rainbow yeah. bagels. Can I get uh, the other half of that everything? Yeah. What awesome. flavor is a rainbow? What um, flavor is a rainbow bagel? A rainbow Something bagel is simply a plain bagel. That's pretty. Oh, with no, food it's color. Not even. <laughs> and I do want to point out, if you look at if you look at the inside of the bagel, you know what makes Thank a New York bagel versus a non New York bagel is the crispy outside. And if you look on the inside, the reason I ripped it in half instead of opening it up top to bottom is you could see the air pockets and probably, I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not, but that inside, if you, if you rip open a bagel and you don't see the air pockets in there, then as my mom likes to say, it's just bread with a hole in it. And that's the key is that it should be fluffy and soft. It should be crispy on the outside. And by the way, all our schmears as we call them are made, we make them in house. And to me, our cream cheese and chives on a salt bagel you might want to be alone mm. for a few minutes. Should I try it without the cream cheese first? Yeah, but, you know, it's like... You no, you're being so professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just dig in. Don't be so dainty. Oh, I also have... So you know how some people call it mm. cream cheese or schmear right. or spread? Mm. What do you think the correct term is? Or can it well, be anything? I'll say, I mean, the English language, language, we have thousands of words for the same thing, right? So mm -hmm. I would say either, either or. Schmear is a Yiddish word. So okay. Yiddish is a, kind of a a bastardized version of Hebrew and German and Italian and all these different languages. It's, it's a language of the Jewish people, but, but it's not Hebrew. And so words like uh, Meshuggah, which I dropped earlier, Oy vey, we've heard these terms, those are Yiddish words, and Shmir is a Jewish word. Or a Yiddish word, pardon me, a Yiddish word. So that should be the right one. Well, what's funny is <laughs> there's a very good bagel shop. The, the, I would say the best bagel shop that I've experienced in Indiana is uh, called Bagel Fair. They're up in Indy. Some mm. of your viewers might be familiar. Yeah. They do a very Bagel nice Fair. shop. I'm very impressed. I walked in there, and because part of my homework is I was figuring out what to do and how to do it, I hit every bagel shop from here to New York, and that's no joke. Um, and I mean, I went to hundreds of them. And I went at the Bagel Fair, and um, I said, give me a schmear. They said, oh, mm -hmm. we don't use that word. We don't like the word schmear. <laughs> so it all depends. So they just use, you know, but uh, yes. I, I like the term schmear, so um, there's that. So I, I, the answer is it depends. Whatever you like is what I like too. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good to know. Well, Ed, thank you so much for the bagels and for taking the time to be on the show with us this morning. We wish you and Gable's Bagels the best of luck. Did you take a bite of the bagel? I did take a bite of the bagel. <laughs> it was okay. a great bagel. Okay. It's <laughs> a good bagel. It was a very, very good bagel. <laughs> yes. Did you say good? It's crazy. It's amazing. It's I'm an devastated. amazing bagel. It's the worst best bagel we've gotten. <laughs> best bagel. It's the best I've bagel ever I've had. ever eaten. How about that? Thank you, Morgan. Yeah. <laughs>